in the last lesson we brought exported uh, AutoCAD model from Revit and then imported that AutoCAD into SketchUp and what you're left with is a bunch of defaults um, colors that are assigned to various model elements in SketchUp. So before collapsing the layers it may be convenient to uh, change first of all the buildings nearly a hundred percent glass so it would be in your interest to uh, convert the glass elements to, to a transparent material how, how do we do that Look at the layers um, created for the export. So if I were to turn off a glaze a curtain, right, that basically hides almost what's entirely intended to be glass. We have some door elements here. Okay, so how can we use that to our advantage? Here's what I'm going to do. The default layer, I'm basically going to select all the other layers. and hide them. How cool is that? So now all this stuff is the model is grouped that's why you that, that's revealing that. So these are components individual components system panel right and they're all different so I think what we want to we, we somehow want to make all of this matter transparent so let's select these and group them just to make certain that while we're within it, so now I want to select all that and explode it. 238 solid components. Let's explode that even further. So they're all, we basically want that all to be faces. Let's take material and find some kind of Less. Now we painted everything transparent, did we? Sometimes when the glass panels are modeled, they're modeled on two sides, so we'll have to. Paint the reverse as well. Close component, did that do it? No. Ooh. All right, we can select all. with same material and I think we can modify the other side yeah there we go close that component that's a group right now not a very useful one but 
it's a pretty coarse way of accomplishing what we wanted. So we made whatever was transparent in the building transparent. We can now reselect the layers. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that needs to become transparent. Those are probably glass doors. You wouldn't put solid doors in a curtain wall. And the building material, you know, the walls are probably something different. So if I hide the door layer, that appears to hide every single door. Of course, you have interior elements to deal with, but I think you're, you're basically starting with an em empty shell of sorts. And let's go ahead and start turning off those layers. We don't need to see that. Door so the door glazing layer is the one that we need to make transparent. Select all the same material. We aren't going to, that's not useful for us in the component. are nested so we're going to have to explode okay the door front you can turn off the door frame into the info what was done a door mm. let's go ahead and explode all this Select all the same material and let's make that glass. We've got to deal with the other side. Elements are not other layers that are selected as well. I'm trying to find that orange stuff. Close component. I think that will have done it. Pretty time consuming, so we may want you may want to think about uh, let's turn all these layers back on. 
So that got us to where we needed to be. Oh, this area's underground, right? Because the site might as well finish what we're doing here. Um, let's isolate the wall layers. We can select all the same material here, make that some kind of um, concrete default uh, stuff. components the floors are a garish purple we'll have to change that as well now we're not talking about scenes and you, you can see how convenient it would be to save different visibility settings with this model as you're doing that work. But I don't want to confuse. The issue, but let's, let's show an example. If I wanted to save this scene, which I've added here and rename it and say, show walls only right we could do that so I could come back to that and and modify the properties of, of those walls let's look at let's go back to the layers or tags as as SketchUp 2020 calls them. Turn everything on. That yellow we probably want to change, right? That's gross. Anyway, um, I'm going to systematically do this so you don't have to endure the entire uh, process of, of doing that. So I would save this scene and say everything on new scene. Everything on. You get the idea. When I'm done with this, I will save it out in that same folder. Good luck.